Hello and welcome to the Book Circle. Uh, we are very lucky today to be chatting with Evie Wilde who has just won the Miles Franklin Award for her gorgeous book, All the Birds Singing. This is a beautiful book. I haven't read it yet. I can't wait to read it, Evie. I think um, it's something that I'm going to enjoy very much. The reviews have been terrific. Today I read that there were comparisons to Christos Chalkos, Peter Carey, and for a second book, what more could you ask for? Some of the reviews that I've been reading uh, describe the book as haunting, suspenseful, but yet beautiful at the same time. I mean, ha where does that come from? Yeah, it's um, it's still it gets called literary fiction, but it's it's um, a literary thriller as well. So um, it was really important to me that it be um, quite a brutal book. Um, but I, I still took as much care with it as I would um, any normal book um, if it wasn't suspenseful and, and kind of dark. Um, it was really important that every single word be the right word. Yeah, that is important in writing mm. and I think that's often underestimated. Mm. And how much of you is in the book? Um, probably more than I would have liked. <laughs> Um, I think I think the character Jake is in a lot of ways very similar to me. Um, quite a solitary person. Mm. Um, we think in a similar way, but not all of her experiences are my experiences. That's no, very <laughs> important to say. <laughs> and let's hope not. I guess. <laughs> so Evie, I mean the Miles Franklin. That's a massive accolade. I can't tell you how thrilled we are to actually talk with you the day after winning the Miles Franklin Award. How, how, yeah, how are you, you feeling? I feel um, both exhausted and incredible. Do you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, what an honour. So yeah. your second book. It's my second book, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's quite an achievement. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Um, the Miles Franklin is um, the sort of highest level of, of literary award mm -hmm. that I could ever have imagined. It's, I'm, I'm amazed to be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. So there's a real sense of place in the book. I mean, you, is it, do, where does that writing come from? Does it come from your memory? Does it come from experience? Yeah, I think there's a, there's a certain amount of nostalgia there. It, it's the place that I would dream of as a kid all the time. I was just yeah. waiting for the next trip to Australia. Yeah. Um, and also I think there's writing about what you know and then writing about what you know some of. So as, if, as soon as you kind of get a sense of a place, you can kind of go into your imagination and, and go a bit further, push it a bit further. So I think I've expanded what I know um, through my imagination. Right. Uh, this is the second book. So where to from here? Um, I mean, the next step is just to write another book, and yeah. I am, of course, terrified. And put everything <laughs> aside, yeah. yeah. I think uh, every time you finish a book, you breathe a sigh of relief and then you realise you have to write another one. Yeah. Um, and it's both the thing that I love most doing in the world and um, the most difficult thing that I do. So it's, yeah, it's nerve wracking starting out again, all yeah. over again with a blank page, but I'm looking forward to it. There's a, there's a feeling of, you know, this one could go anywhere. So. Yeah, absolutely. So do, what do you read when you're reading for pleasure? Is it, do you read Australian fiction or do you, if I'm reading for absolute pleasure, I, I do read a lot of Australian fiction. It's um, it's sort of a comfort place for me. I, I really, I love Carrie Tiffany and uh, Fiona McFarlane. I, I, sort oh, wow. of, I think yeah. they do a, they, they just bring me back here when I'm in London so right. efficiently. Yeah, yeah. And have you read Christos Chalkos's? I have, yeah. I have, yeah. Right. I have. And do you see the similarities? I do, yeah. I think yeah. there's a... a roughness to his work. Yeah, um, absolutely, that's a good word and for a, it. And a sort of rough edge that I, I really enjoyed in, in the slap. Right, okay. And what about Peter Carey? Peter Carey, um, it, it, he is obviously, you know, I'm a huge fan yeah. of his, but um, he seems so perfect that <laughs> I can't really, <laughs> I can't really see the, the connection myself. I feel like I'm a a little bit more rough around the edges than right. Peter Carey. Okay. And you grew up reading Tim Winton or you've just... I did, yeah. I did. was given um, Cloud Street by um, one of my 
Australian relatives when I was about 13, I think. Right. And it was, I think it was really the first bit of literary fiction I read. I, I was reading um, Stephen King and, and sort of a lot of horror novels before that. And, and this made me kind of broaden yeah. my outlook. And, and I think what he does so fantastically is he has the darkness and he also has a huge amount of humour in there. So that kind of really opened my mind, I think. Yeah, The Riders is one that yeah. I particularly love. Yeah, I love that one. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, I guess there's a lot of suspense in that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. And I, I think there's also that wonderful ending where you, you don't get what you want. Absolutely Just like the character, not. just yeah. like Scully. Yeah. A lot of our viewers like to write, and a lot of people are often ask me about writing. I'm not a writer, so can you tell us a little bit about the craft of writing? I think people sometimes feel that it just comes, that it just happens, but there is a craft, there is a process, uh, and so can you tell me a little bit about that? Absolutely. I mean, it, everyone can sit down with a, a pen and paper, mm. just like everyone has a voice and can sing, um, yeah. but you don't want to listen to everyone no. singing necessarily. <laughs> you definitely don't. <laughs> so, um, the, the main thing that I would say is it takes a long time and a lot of practice and every time I write something mm. I feel like I'm starting from the beginning mm -hmm. of writing again and I'm always learning and it's never quite right. Um, so I think the, the main thing that I feel about writing is the most important thing is not to be precious about it, to, mm -hmm. to be open to the fact that you're not a beautiful genius snowflake. <laughs> no, that's right. And with you, you studied writing, didn't mm. you? Did you study writing for a short I time? I did, yeah. yeah. I, I did a creative writing MA in London, right. um, which was really fantastically useful, mainly to spend a year taking myself seriously and putting writing above um, everything else. So being able to say to people, I have to stay in tonight because I have to write a short story, um, yeah. which is a difficult thing to make yourself say. Absolutely. Um, it's a discipline, isn't it? It is. And yeah. also um, being given a, a reading list um, of, of stuff that I wouldn't have read had somebody not said, you have to read this. And yeah. So I think just those sort of things on, on writing courses are fantastic. It's not somewhere to go to learn how to write a sentence, but to read widely and think about writing. So writing, so you write and you also work full time, is that right? I am, I run a bookshop in um, South East London. Right. Um, yeah. So, so when do you write, in the evening or on the weekend? Uh, I find writing first thing in the morning is, is the best. Right, um, right. clear yeah. head. Yeah, clear head yeah. And, and then it means you've, you've kind of got something out of the day, whatever happens next. Right, and then you go in and put a full day's work in. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think you're a superstar. Thank you. I think, well done, congratulations, and we're just going to be watching out for you and watching out your career, watching your career. Thank you so much. So congratulations, and thanks for waiting for me today. Pleasure. And thanks for joining us on The Book Circle. No problem. <laughs> um, and thank you, uh, and we'll see you next time on The Book Circle.